Hello trainers, welcome back to Poke Patrol. The Johto Throwback Special Challenge research has just been released. Technically it was released last night by accident, but now it has been officially released, the event has actually started. So I want to do a video going over each of the steps of the quest to let you know what the encounters and the rewards are. So without further ado, let's jump right on into step one, which is to catch three grass, water, or fire type Pokemon, send a gift to a friend, and to catch a flying type Pokemon. For the grass, water, or fire type, it's very easy. There are plenty of Chikoritas, Totodiles, and Cyndaquil spawning. You shouldn't have any trouble finding three of them. For sending a gift to a friend, it's very self-explanatory. If you happen to have a Niantic Kids account, which hasn't been enabled to add friends or send gifts, make sure to ask a parent to go into the parent portal and turn that on for you. And for catching a flying type Pokemon, there are plenty of Natus and Murkrows spawning, so you should have no issue with that. Also, Gligars are spawning as well. Uh, Skarmory. So, um, there's plenty of flying types. Once you finish those tasks, you'll be rewarded with 10 Pokeballs, 500 Stardusts, and an encounter with a Dunsparce, which can be shiny as of this event. Once you finish that encounter, you can move on to the final set of rewards for this step, which is a Silver Pineapp, two Golden Raspberries, and an encounter with a Zatu, which cannot be shiny, unfortunately, but it's still a pretty cool Pokemon. For step two, you'll need to play with your buddy, give your buddy three treats, and catch a Bug-type Pokemon. For playing with your buddy, it's very self-explanatory. Just open up the buddy menu uh, and play with him a bit by rubbing the screen. He really likes that, apparently. Uh, give him three treats, which can just be three berries that you have extra of. And for catching a Bug-type Pokemon, there are Spinaraks, Pinecos, uh, Yanma spawning. There's just plenty of bugs, so go wild with the bugs. Once you finish those tasks, you'll be rewarded with five Raspberries, 500 Stardust, and an encounter with a Spinarak, which cannot be shiny, unfortunately. Once you finish this encounter, you can move on to the final set of rewards for the step, which is one Golden Raspberry, two Silver Pineapps, and an encounter with a Pineco, which can be shiny. For step three, you'll need to make three Great Throws, catch an egg, and catch a normal type Pokemon. All very self-explanatory stuff. Making three Great Throws, just make three Great Throws. Hatch an egg, I'd recommend putting on a two kilometer egg. Uh, right now there's still half hatch distance, so it's only one kilometer to walk with that. And for catching normal type Pokemon, there are plenty of Dunsparce spawning right now. Once you finish those tasks, you'll be rewarded with one Charge TM, 500 Stardust, and an encounter with a Snubble, which can be shiny. Once you finish this encounter, you can move on to the final set of rewards for the step, which is one Silver Pineapp, two Golden Raspberries, and an encounter with a Miltank, which cannot be shiny. For step four, you'll need to evolve a Pokemon, catch five different species of Pokemon, and catch a Ghost type Pokemon. Evolving a Pokemon is still very self-explanatory, just choose any Pokemon you have excess candies for and evolve it. If you have any leftover Pidgeys from the Kanto event, I'd recommend those. Uh, same with Weedles or Caterpies, because they don't use too much uh, candy. For catching five different species of Pokemon, it's literally just that, catching five different species of Pokemon. And for catching a Ghost-type Pokemon, there are plenty of Mischievous spawning, so you shouldn't have too many problems with that. Once you finish these tasks, you'll be rewarded with 10 Great Balls, 500 Stardust, and an encounter with a Pseudo Wudo, which can be shiny. Once you finish this encounter, you can move on to the final set of rewards for the step, which is one Golden Raspberry, two Silver Pineapps, and a Mischievous encounter, and yes, Mischievous can be shiny. For step five, you need to take a snapshot of your buddy, make four curveball throws, and catch a fighting type Pokemon. Taking a snapshot of your buddy is pretty self-explanatory. Just open the menu and take a snapshot of him for making four curveball throws. Very, very easy. Probably the easiest task they could possibly could have given you. And for catch a fighting type Pokemon, there aren't really any fighting type Johto Pokemon spawning, but there seems to still be a lot of Machop spawning, as well as Sock and Throw, depending on where you are living. So those are always options as well. Uh, Machop will probably be the easiest to catch, though. Once you finish these tasks, you'll be rewarded with 500 Stardusts, an encounter with a Mantine, and an encounter with a Shuckle, which can be shiny. Once you finish these encounters, you can move on to the final set of rewards for the step, which is one Silver Pineapp, two Golden Raspberries, and a Hitmon Top encounter. For step six, you'll need to catch an Electric-type Pokemon, power up a Pokemon three times, and catch a Steel-type Pokemon. For catching an Electric-type Pokemon, there are plenty of Pikachus with Umbreon hats spawning right now. For powering up a Pokemon three times, uh, very simple stuff. Just choose a Pokemon that's very weak, that won't use too much Stardust or Candy, or power up a Pokemon you need for PvP anyway. And for catching a Steel-type Pokemon, there are Skarmory spawning, and you can also use a Magnetic Lure uh, on a Pokestop, which will uh, give you possible Steel-type encounters with Magnemite and other Pokemon such like that. Once you finish these tasks, you'll be rewarded with an Incense, 500 Stardust, and an encounter with a Mareep, which you could actually also use for the Catch and Electric-type Pokemon task if you finish the Power-up Pokemon task first. 
Once you're done with that, you can move on to the final set of rewards for the step, which is one golden raspberry, two silver pineapps, and a skarmory encounter, which can be shiny. For step seven, you'll need to evolve a Pokemon, catch a water type Pokemon, and catch an ice type Pokemon. Uh, for evolving a Pokemon, once again, very easy stuff. Just use a Pidgey or a, a Weedle or a Caterpie or just anything, whichever you have excess candy for. Uh, for catching a water type Pokemon, there are plenty of Totodile spawning. If you're lucky, you can catch a shiny one like I did. For catching an ice type Pokemon, you can either wait for a Swinub encounter or use a Glacial Lure at a Pokestop. Um, that will give you plenty of ice type Pokemon, uh, seals, stuff like that, snow runts, uh, Obama snow, or uh, snowover, I mean. Uh, there's also uh, Sneasel and Raids right now, so you have lots of options for this task. Once you finish those tasks, you'll be rewarded with a King's Rock, 500 Stardust, and an encounter with a Gligar, which can be shiny. Once you finish this encounter, you can move on to the final set of rewards for this step, which is one Silver Pineapp, two Golden Raspberries, and an encounter with a Pyloswine, which cannot be shiny. For step 8, you'll need to take a snapshot of an Ice-type Pokemon, battle another trainer, and power up a Pokemon six times. For take a snapshot of an Ice-type Pokemon, you can just use the Ice-type you caught in the previous step. I noticed a lot of people on my previous video saying they had issues with the snapshot uh, challenge. If you guys are having issues with the snapshot challenge, try taking a snapshot after you catch the Pokemon, not during the encounter. That should fix the issue for you. For battle another trainer, you can do this with a friend or in the Go Battle League. Um, it doesn't matter which one you do, it will still count. Just make sure you stay for the whole battle. You have to either win or lose. You can't just join a battle and then leave. You have to finish the battle one way or another. And for powering up a Pokemon, same thing as last time. Use a weak Pokemon or a Pokemon you need to use for PvP anyway. Once you finish those tasks, you'll be rewarded with a Dragon Scale, 10 Ultra Balls, and 500 Stardust. After that, you can claim the last set of rewards for the step, which is one Golden Raspberry, two Silver Pineapps, and a Dawn Fan Encounter. For step 9, all the tasks are automatically completed for you. All you need to do is claim them. They are 3,000 experience each. Once you claim all three, you can move on to the final set of rewards for this step and the final set of rewards for the whole research, which is 10 rare candies. It's supposed to be 10 rare candies, but I got five in an encounter with Ho-Oh that knows Earthquake. And the Ho-Oh can be shiny. Mine wasn't, uh, but yours might be. So good luck with that. And just like that, you've completed the Johto Throwback Challenge Special Research. If you folks had any issues with these challenges, uh, you can feel free to leave your issues down in the comments below and I'll try to help you out to the best of my abilities. Um, other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you did, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. It is the best way to help this channel grow and it's always greatly appreciated. Also, if the time, make sure to check out my other social medias, my Twitch, my Twitter, my Facebook, and my Discord. All the links are down in the description below. That is all I have for you for today. Thanks again for watching. I will see you all in the next one. Goodbye, trainers.